Hello, my name is Lindsay Kittner. I'm the Senior VP and GM here at Tataran. And today we're going to talk about Aonics and our Aonics platform and it you being used in assisted living and senior residents, and we call this smart care. So basically, why would a senior living facility or assisted living facility look at making a change? Well, there's many reasons why they should be looking for the change. Many of these facilities were built back in the 90s and 2000s, and technology advances have come a long way, improving communications and saving costs for facilities. Uh, with trunking out there and the FCC mandate or allowing local telephone companies to abandon their copper, many of these facilities have increasing cost for not only their own phone lines, but also for their residents. Uh, changing over to Aonics and Aonics for Cloud uh, allow you to take advantage of these cost savings and potentially becoming a revenue generator or sharing cost with uh, residents. While doing this, you can also take advantage of Aonics' ability to uh, increase accessibility with mobility applications with Aonics and also access different facilities like paging or uh, door access or things of that nature. Um, it, finally, you can come up and be in greater regulatory compliance uh, with state, federal, local agencies as they come up and start to uh, look at uh, staffing requirements and uh, time uh, to access or work on uh, uh, residents alerts and emergency calls. So the goal of this presentation is to educate the partners of the potential to market and sell into assisted living facilities and also our unique capabilities that make it an advantage of selling our product over the competition. It also can allow uh, assisted living facilities to learn of our solutions and our unique features and how they can benefit uh, their facilities. And please note that both Aonics and Aonics for Cloud that are mentioned in this presentation are the identical solution. The only difference is how they're deployed where Aonics for Cloud is deployed in Microsoft Azure in a cloud space and paid for on a monthly basis whereas Aonics is deployed on on-premise and is purchased with a, a capital expenditure. But in either case, the same features we talk about here in this presentation can be deployed for both platforms. So why sell into the assisted living facility market? Well, it is a large and ever-growing market. Um, you know, as the baby boomers start to age, uh, you will find that many uh, will go from uh, single family homes to needing some assistance. Uh, and doing a simple Google search of, a, uh, of an area will unlock uh, potential markets for this. This is just a simple uh, search for living facilities in the, the general Atlanta area, and you can see all of the potential uh, assisted living facilities just found here on a simple Google search. So there are facilities in every geographical location around the U.S., which then allows us to be uh, sold and uh, tattering along with the partner can provide a one-stop shop uh, for uh, these facilities needs. So who are the, the customers for an assisted living facility? Well, the first one, of course, is the residents. They're the ones that live there 24 seven. They're the ones that are paying rent. They're the ones that are, are there uh, whose needs need to take place. Um, they need to feel safe. They need to feel secure. Uh, they need to have their, um, uh, that their needs are being uh, attended to 
by the staff, but more importantly, that they uh, dictate or tell their family members that they feel comfortable in that. Because if the resident doesn't feel safe and secure uh, and uh, all their needs being addressed by the assisted living facility, the first thing the residents are gonna do are gonna complain to their family members. And of course their family members, if they don't like it, can actually just move the person out of the facility. So uh, it's apparent and very obvious that the residents need to have that uh, uh, need to have that security. Um, additionally, uh, staff need uh, are being pulled in many different directions at assisted living facilities. Uh, they have uh, staffing requirements, and there, of course, there's many more residents than there are staff on hand. And so whatever they have to do that needs to be mobile because staff are not sitting all at one place all the time. So they need to be mobile. They need to be flexible. They need to have at their hands the uh, information uh, of the residents and what is tra actually being transpired. And then likewise, on the management side, management of assisted living facility need to have a, a an application that's cost justified, that's make, that's making them money for the facility, that's have, having them or helping them to retain residents or bring in new residents to the facility, that's keeping the family members happy, that's meeting the needs for the staff and also protecting the staff. So we feel that at Tataran, our Aonix platform does all of these. So if you look at uh, assisted living facility, of course, one of the big uh, systems that are there, the communication platform. But in most cases, a lot of times, the, uh, the, the platforms are separate. You might have a communication system for a residence or a room area where it has separate 10 digit numbers. And you might have a phone system for the staff and they might have a dedicated uh, deck network for mobile workers that doesn't work with the system Wi-Fi. And you might have a, a public announcement or a paging system that's out there. Um, and so what Aonix is, is basically it's a, a, a middleware. It's a, a way where the Aonix platform can bring all of these different systems together and operate them under one application. So residents' phones can be brought into Aonix and maybe help pay for the, uh, the platform itself by moving dial tone from individual costs down to, indiv to a, a bulk purchase where it becomes a revenue center for the facility. Um, that residents now, if their phone numbers are in Aonix can take advantage of emergency conferences to staff, personal voicemails with transcription service, and uh, Aonix can become a pay-as-you-go type model uh, to where um, facilities don't have to do large CapEx expenditures out there. You know, with the, a lot of systems out there, they may have public announcement uh, areas in uh, common areas, in hallways, but they may have older technologies where they may have dedicated microphones at workstations and whatnot. Well, our Aonix platform can do two things. First off, there is no need for a dedicated PA system. You can make uh, intercom calls and zone paging through our speakers of our IP phones. Additionally, our phones can uh, access any of the zone page that's out there and with the addition of a SIP paging adapter can actually integrate into an existing paging system as well. And finally, you can add locations where you don't have speaker coverage simply by deploying Wi-Fi phones and using those, using the speaker in the phones for an additional speaker plus an access point to actually uh, call paging out there. 
residents out here uh, can also have old analog phones that are out there that maybe are used just to have a dedicated 10 digit phone number on there. The problem with those is if they're in use or the phone handset gets knocked off, you can't call into the rooms. So if you were to take the, the 10 digit number that's there, run it through our Aonix platform, you now have the ability of run it into a specialty IP phone. And these IP phones can be Wi-Fi enabled to where there's no infrastructure that has to be put in place. I don't have to come up and upgrade the cabling in the walls. I can just do it as a uh, internet uh, Wi-Fi service uh, in hallways and that. So these phones have big buttons on there, large color display, uh, HD voice. Uh, they also are hearing aid compatible. Uh, and But more importantly, there are also uh, enhancements to the way that people work. Instead of just being an, an analog phone, it's a speaker phone uh, with the help button on there. It's there. If you have a, a voicemail message, you get a light on the phone. Uh, it acts as a speaker in a room. And additionally, it has connectivity for wireless emergency buttons on there. These wireless emergency buttons can be connected to these phones and can be programmed to ring the staff in case they have a problem. In the past, people just maybe put a, a short across the tip and ring with an analog pull cord in a bathroom. But nowadays, I can come up and have this SIP device. I can hit a button or pull a cord. And now can the staff can intercom back into the room uh, over that uh, SIP phone that you just saw on the previous page and can actually ask the resident how they're feeling. Uh, if they knock the phone off the hook because they've fallen, again, uh, another alert goes out and you have it. Or if they're wearing a pendant that uh, needs no um, uh, battery on it because it charges by a motion and hooks up to the phone, you can come up and use that as a uh, alerting device as well to that phone. So it, it allows you to give a better sense of security for the resident and also increase communication from the resident uh, by the staff people. Additionally, in Aonix, we have a, a new feature that we have implemented called Roll Call. And basically, instead of having someone sitting down each day, going through a sheet of paper and calling each resident uh, individually to do a wellness check on them, Aonix can be programmed to do that once a day at a specific time and then ask the resident a question uh, to see if they can you know, push a button on a phone. If all those are met, then everything's good. If they call someone like in room 2138, call Tom there and he doesn't answer, we send out an alert to the staff and they can go out and do a wellness check on Tom, make sure he's okay. This is all included with our Aonix and Aonix for cloud platform. Additionally, if there is a problem, we have a Aonix dispatch console, which can be used by staff and this would uh, automatically pop up an emergency grid. And on this emergency grid, it's going to show who the emergency is being happened or who is activating this emergency, as well as uh, call outs uh, for this, because we can have unlimited number of emergency conferences in the system. And each one of these can be triggered with a unique SMS. So not only can we alert staff that something's happened, we also have the ability of alerting relatives or friends that something has happened as well with an SMS message. And of course, no one stays uh, static anymore. No one just sits at a desk uh, for their entire shift. Um, in a lot of uh, assisted living facilities, they first deployed wireless using deck phones out there that had dedicated antennas uh, that had limited range. Well, with our uh, Aonix platform, we can have up to six devices on a single uh, extension or user. And so instead of having an expensive deck phone that's out there, you could actually go out and just buy an unlocked Android 
mobile phone and just use the Wi-Fi portion of it and load our Aonix uh, Touch mobile client on there. That, along with uh, multiple devices that are out there, um, we can ring up to six devices. So if someone were to have an incident at any one of the uh, uh, residents, we could ring not only the the phone at the in the hallway at the staff location, but in a break room. Plus, we can also ring a uh, mobile device as well, and the staff will see that it's an emergency call that's happening from room 2108, and someone can then intercom into room 2108 and check on them, and then do a, a call if needed onto it. Likewise, with our Aonix for Cloud platform, we do uh, can include uh, recording, active recording on those calls. So we can set up a rule that says if a, an event happens and it triggers to an emergency conference, then start recording the call. So if the event were to happen, a phone get knocked off or someone hit the help button, it would trigger the uh, recording, and then you can see how quickly staff members attend to that person to call into the room to see exactly what's going on. It protects not only the resident to ensure that they get uh, care as quickly as possible, but it also protects the staff and the facility against uh, specific uh, lawsuits and liability. And likewise, unfortunately, we you know we've been through the the COVID and the um, the, uh, the the shut-ins that we had. So basically, uh, if we ever have another pandemic out there, our Aonix platform is ready because uh, our partner for uh, an Aonix for cloud for collaboration is Zoom, and we include that Zoom license in our Aonix for Cloud platform, we include one with every single user. So that means that facilities can set up uh, areas for video conferencing, uh, for uh, staff, for medical people, for uh, video meetings with uh, doctors and caregivers and legal teams and whatnot. So all of this is included uh, with our platform. And likewise, uh, our Aonix for Cloud platform allows facilities to actually market this beyond their standard brick and mortar. So if they wanted to have some sort of monitoring option for residents, since it's SIP based and all we need is an internet connection, they can come up and market this service out to residents around their facility and basically use it as a, as a as a marketing tool to say, hey, we're we're here to help. We're here to, to be here for you and could potentially down the road become a, a feeder system into the facility, plus giving a service to the uh, local area. So anyways, this concludes our uh, presentation of Aonix and Aonix for Cloud uh, in the assisted living market with SureCare. So if you have any further questions, feel free to contact us and uh, we'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.